That's what we're working on in these first three lessons of my Battle of Psalm workshop. The link for it, all the details below. And in this third lesson, we've got a lot of low G, B, A happening. So those bottom two fingers are getting a workout here. So we ended off the last lesson on the low A. That's the part we're working on. And then the next little thing we'll add on. There's a D throw at the end of this bar as well, which we'll, we'll talk about and, and tack on here. So let me just play nice and slow, and then we're going to break down that lesson three part. So here's what we got so far in lessons one and two, and now what we're working on. So we ended off lesson two on the low A. So we're on the low A, pinky fingers up, all the other fingers are on their holes. We're gonna go from low A up to B. And if you're not doing grace notes that yet, that's okay, you can just transition by raising that ring finger of the bottom hand. If you are doing grace notes, we got a nice big fat G grace note here for you. Lift up that top finger, do the transition, then bring the top finger down. Okay, so there we are on the B. And now we have a couple of new things here, but it's the same thing twice. So we have a new grace note, or D grace note. So this is, this is, uh, this might hurt your brain a little bit if you haven't done very many D grace notes. Lots happening in the bottom hand. We're going to lift that D grace note finger, which is the top hand. We're already on the B, so our bottom two fingers are lifted. So that's our grace note finger we're talking about. Top finger. We're going to lift that finger and then drop down to low G. So we have to, we have to drop down our bottom two fingers before that top finger comes on. So we're going from B to low G. But we're getting there with a grace note, top finger of the top, of the bottom hand. That's a slow motion version. And it might be really, really tempting to just get there with that G grace note. But if you can, give it a try, because that D grace note finger isn't going to wake up and start learning unless you start fumbling around with it. So fumble away, and you get another practice run here, because we're doing another D, another D grace note right, right away here. So we're, we're, either way, you've gotten to the low G. So we're on the low G, we've gotten that far. Now we're gonna go back to the B, but this time we're getting to that B with the D grace note again, whereas before we got to that B with the G grace note. So this is, uh, this is everything we're working on, kind of one after the other here for you. So that's the full phrase we're working on. So the second time we hop up to the B, we're getting from the low G to B. And we're going to get there with a D grace note. And after that, we're going back to low G, and then we pop up to the A. So that's that same little embellishment. That's the same little embellishment we worked on in lesson two. So yes, you have the option of just dropping one note down to low A, but it's really nice if you can grab that low G and then lift the pinky. So this, this can be a confusing one, so I'm just going to play it through a few times slow, because there's a lot of like, wow, did you go to low G twice? Did you go to A? What, what, what's going on there? And then these D grace note things. So let's just play it together nice and slow or listen to me play it slow. Pause the video, work on it yourself, and you might have to kind of go back and forth that way to get it, get it in your brain. So here we are from the end of lesson two going into lesson three. End of lesson two, we end on the low A. 
and that's like bar one, two, the, the second or third bar there, and I got the pictures of the music and the, I've highlighted the different blocks of each lesson for you in the workshop below so you can check that out. It's all, it, all the details about the workshop are in the links, but you can, even the first three free lessons, you can, you can check out that music I've provided. So here we are, start the, starting into lesson three from the last note of lesson two. And again. So the first grace note is a D grace note, top finger of the top hand. The next two grace notes are both with the D. And let's just talk a quick minute about timing here. So timing, our low A where we're starting from here at the end of lesson two. That's a longer note. When we go up to that B the first time, it's quite short. And then when we and from the B we hop down to the low G, and that's a little bit of a longer note as well. Um, not as long as that last note in lesson two, the low A, but it's it's longer relative to the the two notes beside it. So that low G is long, but the two B's on either side of it aren't aren't that long. And then the, the low A is long again. So we have long, short, long, short, long, long, short, medium, short, long, long, short, medium, short, long. So that's kind of the rhythm of it. And to get that rhythm, if you just have to drop out those grace notes and kind of get the rhythm in place for, for a minute or two, that's okay. And when you got that rhythm, now we can add in those grace notes again. And I think I did an E grace note there, so it's again two D grace notes. There we go. And you're like, where's, where's that D throw come from? <laughs> so the D throw at the end of this bar is kind of leading into the next bar, the ending of the line. So, so that D throw, we, we broke it down before from the F. So just a, we, we're through the tough stuff of this lesson. Just a real quick breakdown here. And again, the, the workshop links below if, if you want to join me for lesson four and finish off this tune. So uh, we're on the low A, doing a D throw. If, if you don't want to tackle D throws yet, you could just transition from low A up to D by dropping the pinky, lifting those three fingers. But a D throw, we're going to hit the low G by bringing the, the pinky finger down. And then we do that D grace note, which you're a master at after getting through the lesson so far. So D grace note. And then pop up to C. And that last bit, pop up to D. That's the slow motion version. So let me play, I'll just play lesson three with that D throw tacked on once more for you. And then I'll, I'll, I'll go through and play, play, play a bit, you know, the whole first line or even a little bit of the tune just so you can hear it. And feel free to hop back anywhere on the video that you need to practice, pause, work on. And can't wait to see in lesson four, lesson four, <laughs> lesson four. Uh, just click on the link below to, to join me. That's what we did in lesson three.